You are one of the most iconic examples of Chinese entrepreneurial success story. One of the very few self-made female billionaires in the world. And how has China enabled you to create this entrepreneurial success? You see more Chinese women entrepreneurs,、uh, and in fact, last time I looked at the billionaires, self-made billionaires, Chinese women. I, I think Chinese women were like the majority of it in、yeah. the list.、Uh, that goes to show you that one, this has to be the right macro environment to give people a chance to be to to exercise their entrepreneurship. And two is that there must be tremendous opportunities for women, because had it been another country where there's No opportunity for women, then you wouldn't be seeing this. So I think that I benefit a lot from being in the right place and being the right time. You know, I look at my mother's generation; nobody had any opportunities, right? And in China, and now you talk to students graduating from school, and if they were, you know, they have a job, and then very soon they begin to think, maybe I can start some business, doing this, doing that, and that. Where I think it's there's a, such a drive of entrepreneurship, coming from working in a factory,、mm. being educated abroad,、mm. making the decision to come back to China,、mm. and then going into the entrepreneurial experience. Which which transition created the biggest challenges for you, or required the greatest growth for you?、Mm. The best growth moment is when I am most down. You know when I most when I have a moment that I just feel oh gosh I just cannot do it. Those are always the moment that I reflect a lot, I search a lot,、uh, and I can find strength. I remember trying to take our company public back in the 2003. I was so certain we can go, and I worked so hard and worked with all the banks and. Every step there were obstacles, and it's just not meant to happen. Not meant to happen. And then after a year and a half, I was pushing so hard, and it just didn't happen. And and I, you know, I sit down and say, you know, I don't know what it is that I needed to do more to get it done. The American invest investor community just didn't get the China story, like real estate company that you can sell office buildings. And is that not speculation? You know, like for the American investors, it's unheard of. And and then you know, a few years later, you know, in 2007, we tried again, and everything just seemed to work so smoothly. And by then, you know, all the earlier questions had gone. You know, people are not asking those questions.、And、you know, I learned these things is sometimes you cannot push too much without really observing. The, the the environment, what really is happening, when no one else is ready, just yourself is ready. That's not good enough. How did you find the resilience and the strength to keep pushing and pushing and pushing? Some of it is innate. You know, I was probably born as a passionate,、uh, a persistent person, and some of it is because、um, I just really. Love what I do. I build buildings, right? I still, to this day, I've been doing this for 16 years. Every time I go on the construction site, which I go all the time, I just get so excited of seeing a building coming up, and and you know, sitting down with the designers and dreaming about imagining how it would be, how it would be like in a few years of time. Still, you know, I get so passionate about doing this. And, and you know, I think that that's just creativity. You know, people need creativity, needs to create. And when you see that you can create a building from nothing,、uh, it's just incredibly exciting.